welcome to our new video. In our previous lesson, I taught you how to write the chemical formula of ionic compounds and how to write its chemical name. Now, for today's video, we are going to practice what we have learned in that video. But if you haven't watched that video, please watch it first so that you can easily follow this practice session. So without further ado, let us start with the naming of binary ionic compounds. So I have here three examples for naming simple binary compounds. So let's start with KF. K is the element symbol for potassium, while F is the element symbol for fluorine. In naming binary compound, we will just copy the name of the first element. And in naming the second element, we will use the suffix IDE. Therefore, instead of fluorine, it will be fluoride. The chemical name for KF is potassium fluoride. Now let's proceed with number 2, Na3N. Na is the symbol for sodium, while N is the element symbol for nitrogen. Again, in naming binary compounds, we will just copy the name of the first element. And in naming the second element, we will use the suffix IDE. Therefore, instead of nitrogen, it will be nitrite. And the name of this chemical formula is sodium nitride. Now, let's proceed with number 3, Ca3P2. Ca is the element symbol for calcium, while P is the element symbol for phosphorus. Again, in naming binary compounds, we will just copy the name of the first element, and in the second element, we will use the suffix IDE. Therefore, instead of phosphorus, it will be phosphite. And the name of this chemical formula is calcium phosphide. Now, before I proceed with our next example, if you do have question, just type it in our comment section. In our next example, we are going to use the stock system. We use the stock system to name compounds that involve transition metal cations with more than one charge. The name of the compound must reflect the charge being used in the chemical formula. Now, let's start with SNO2. Sn is the element symbol for tin, while O is the element symbol for oxygen. Now this time, we will not just copy the name for the first element because tin is a transition metal with a charge of positive 2 and positive 4. We need to identify what charge is used in the given chemical formula. Therefore, we need to do the crisscross method. Now let us try first with a positive 2. The charge of oxygen is negative 2. Now using the crisscross method, the result is SNO. Obviously, this is not the given chemical formula. So we're gonna try tin with positive 4. Now using the crisscross method, the result is SNO2. Now that we already identified the charge being used by tin, in the given chemical formula, we can write its chemical name. It is tin 4. The Roman numeral represents the charge being used by the tin. And in naming the second element, we will use the suffix IDE. Therefore, instead of oxygen, it will be oxide. So, the name of this chemical formula is tin 4 oxide. It can also be written as stannic oxide. Now, let's proceed with FeO. Fe is the element symbol for iron, while O is the element symbol for oxygen. Now this time, we will not just copy the name of the first element because iron is a transition metal with a charge of positive 2 and positive 3. Again, we need to identify first what is the charge used by the given chemical formula. Therefore, we need to do the crisscross method. Now let us write first iron with positive 2. Again, the charge of oxygen is negative 2. Now, using the crisscross method, the result is FeO. Now, we're going to try iron with positive 3, just to check. Now, using the crisscross method, the result is Fe2O3. Now, based on the crisscross method, iron positive 2 was used in the given chemical formula FeO. Now that we already identified the charge being used by iron in the given chemical formula, we can write its chemical name. 
Chemical name is iron 2. The Roman numeral represent the charge being used by the iron. In naming the second element, we will use the suffix IDE. Therefore, instead of oxygen, it will be oxide. Iron 2 oxide is the chemical name. It can also be written as ferrous oxide. Now, let us have naming ternary compounds. Ternary compounds compose of three or more elements, and it, it can be cations, anions, polyatomic ions, or both polyatomic ions. Now, let's proceed with number six, KClO3. K is the element symbol for potassium, while ClO3 is the symbol for polyatomic ions chlorate. Just like naming binary compounds, we will just copy the name of the first element. Then, we will just copy the name of the polyatomic ions. Therefore, the chemical name is potassium chlorate. Now, let's proceed with number 7, Rb2SO4. Rb is the element symbol for rubidium. Well, SO4 is the element symbol or the polyatomic ion sulfate. Just like naming binary compounds, we will just copy the name of the first element, rubidium. Then we will just copy the name of the polyatomic ions, which is sulfate. Therefore, the chemical name is rubidium sulfate. Now, let's proceed with number 8, CdNO3. CD is the element symbol for cadmium, while NO3 is the symbol for polyatomic ions nitrate. Again, just like naming binary compounds, we will just copy the name of the first element. And also, we will just copy the name of the polyatomic ions. So therefore, the chemical formula is cadmium nitrate. Now, for number 9, FeOH3. Fe is the element symbol for iron while OH is the symbol for polyatomic ions hydroxide. Now, this time, we will not just copy the name of the first element because iron is a transition metal with a charge of positive 2 and positive 3. We need to identify first what charge is used in the given chemical formula. Therefore, we need to do the crisscross method. Now, let us try iron with a positive 2. The charge of hydroxide is negative 1. Now, using crisscross method, the result is FeOH2. Now, we're going to try iron with a positive 3. Now, using crisscross method, the result is FeOH3. Now, based on the crisscross method, Iron positive 3 was used in the given chemical formula. Now that we already identified the charge being used by iron, we can now write its chemical name. It is iron 3, the Roman numeral represents the charge being used by iron, then we will just copy the name of the polyatomic ions. Therefore, the chemical name is iron 3 hydroxide or it can be ferric hydroxide. Now, let's proceed with number 10, NaCn. Na is the element symbol for sodium, while Cn is the symbol for polyatomic ion cyanide. Just like naming the binary compounds, we will just copy the name of the first element, which is sodium. Then, we will also copy the name of the polyatomic ions, which is cyanide. Therefore, the chemical name for this chemical formula is sodium cyanide. Now, let us do vice versa. Let's start with number 1. Let's try to figure out what is the chemical formula for mercury 2 nitrate. Mercury is one of the transition metal with positive 1 and positive 2 charges. Now, based on the given chemical name, it is indicated that mercury 2 nitrate used positive 2 charge. On the other hand, nitrate has negative 1 charge. Now, we're going to use crisscross method to get the chemical formula. Now, let's have ammonium phosphate, which are both polyatomic ions. Ammonium has chemical formula NH4 with a charge of positive 1, while phosphate or PO4 
have negative 3. Now, we're going to use the crisscross method to get the chemical formula. And based on the crisscross method, the chemical formula is NH4-3PO4. Now, let's have calcium silicate. Calcium, with the element symbol of Ca, has positive 2 charge, while silicate or SiO4 has negative 4. Now, we're going to use the crisscross method to get the chemical formula. Here, we're going to reduce the subscript to their greatest common factor, which is 2. Now, based on the crisscross method, the chemical formula is Ca2SiO4. Now, let's have number 4, lead to chromate. Lead is one of the transition metal with positive 2 and positive 4 charges. Now, based on the given chemical name, it is indicated that lead to chromate use positive 2 charge. On the other hand, chromate or CrO4 has negative 2 charge. Now, we're going to use crisscross method again to get the chemical formula. Now, based on the crisscross method, the chemical formula is PBCRO4. So, that's it. See you in our next lesson. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you will be notified for more videos like this.